But eventually I realized that I got to the first blossom from the ground, so, you know, I could probably start over from the ground as long as I was in that upper area. That was the whole thing I'd missed. I hadn't realized that there was this area that you could get on top of this ridge. Like, near, yeah. near the Guardian Sapling. What are we whispering about? <laughs> and again, I draw, draw a constellation. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, sometimes for some reason the game makes you do that. It's like the blossom won't open until you've already started jumping. Like, oh wait, that's the boulder I wanted. Because platforming. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm mentally backseat gaming myself now. I'm like, no, look the other way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's right there, don't you? Blossom, and then you turned the camera the wrong way. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Crap, that just got me back to the clovers. Okay, this must be the other path. I also like how like, this canvas is very effective night vision. Yes, I used it as such. I have been using it as such ever since I beat Waoku Shrine because it's always dark now. Okay, I know where I need to go now. Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, and I wouldn't, if I'd known that it was going to turn to constant darkness, I would not have gone through that shrine, you know, before I did a lot of the side quest stuff. So I got the tiger statue, which is actually kind of cute. <laughs> In the main, in the main quest, the only thing I have left is the Ark of Yamato. Okay. It's the side quest that I'm wrapping up. I have one more sun fragment to get. I have like three or four more stray beads, a couple more treasure types, and a whole bunch of gold dust. Don't forget the fish. I have decided I'm not going to get all the fish. <laughs> No, we're not talking about freaky fish guys, we're talking about actual fish. Well, some of them are fish. Others are crustaceans or other sea creatures. Oh, it looks like your astral pouch is almost full. So. Okay, so this is where the water tablet comes in really handy. Now I'm at Ryoshima Coast. Yeah, getting all the shells. Yep. <laughs> I did not know that there was anything. I didn't know that there was anything, you know, there far away from the from the shore, other than the sunken ship. But there's a lot of stuff. The power slash would work correctly. Island is explorable. Actually, one of them had a sun fragment on it, if I remember correctly. And it's probably the island where I couldn't figure out. Oh. I know there was one near the sunken ship. Is that what you're talking about? No, it's one of the battle royale places. You mean like with the demon gate? Yeah, where you, you batter a spider bandit queen thing. All of them have sun fragments. Yeah. Yeah. I, on one of these islands. But that's at North Rio Shima Coast. Oh, it is. Yeah. Yeah, I, I finished all of the spider gates. Oh, okay. Um, but there, there was one island here where it looked like you should be able to 
climb, like get get into the upper areas of it, but I couldn't figure out any way to do that. And I'm not. Yeah. Yeah, I am going to. I am going to go there because one of the it's that one, the one that's. The one that you're heading towards currently. Yeah, the big one. Can you get up there? I think so. What I was looking for was at the base, so I didn't need to get up there to get that. But I was just wondering whether you could get up to the area with the rope. Island too. Because you have to remember that there's a cat statue to get up to the top of it. Yeah, I look. I've learned my lesson about looking for cat statues. When you got the snake. Yes. Got the snake. So that means you just got two more to find. Two more! Yep. One is a zodiac treasure and the other one is a, another type of tassels. Sure. Well, there are a ton of treasures that I missed because I didn't know that there was stuff out here. But, but on the other hand, I was actually glad that I didn't go out here until after I'd gotten the water tablet. Oh god, it's a pain. <laughs> yep, makes the whole process a whole lot faster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess he could have heard. Yeah, I didn't see any way to get up there. Yeah, dude. Because we're all thinking about how does he get on top of that island? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you guys speak to the house thinking about how quiet it's gone. Yeah. Uh, best not think about that. It's crazy. Man. That was Uncle's game to become something like Hmm. Shells. Yep. Oh, there's a <laughs> useless thing. No, there's some places you can only get to with mermaid coins. Even when you have the power. Even when you have the warp skill, yeah. Huh? I have not encountered any place like that. As I call it, the subway pass power. Internet did 200 damage. Oh, no, my game did 200 damage. <laughs> Amanda switched over to playing the uh, uh, Soul Hackers game that came out recently. Never heard of Soul Hackers. It's Shin Megami Tensei Soul Hackers. It uh, came out March, actually. Let me check the date on the box. No, it was 2013, I think I may have looked it up, but yeah, it came out this year. It's, it's not that hard of a game, but occasionally enemies self-destruct, and that's just, that's just an SMT thing, it happens. Well, that's never good in an RPG, because it means, number one, you're going to take a crap ton of damage, and number two, you're not going to get any experience. That's exactly what it means. Yeah. 
That's like animal cruelty or something. I mean, the whole thing's animal cruelty, but that, that's especially bad animal cruelty. Tell, telling an animal to self-destruct. And yes, I recognize that it's... can self-destruct are, like, made out of inanimate objects. Oh, that's true. Right. Yeah, that's true. We'll turn with lecture book, and, uh, Geodude and them, they can both, they can all learn self-destruct and explosion. Yeah, I didn't think of that. Yeah, they're, they're what I broke. Yeah. Oh. Trying to join the party, and tried to join the party, but then it was it was like I'm gonna join your party. Oh wait, never mind. You have that demon that I don't like. So <laughs> <laughs> there's a side quest sort of like that in Final Fantasy X too, where you have to get a certain number of people from one place to another, but the people are picky about who can, you can have in the party. I like this side quest because it offers a chance for for you to see Yuna really pissed. Pissy Yuna? Well, it's like the only time you actually see her get angry in either of the two games. Well, no, I guess she gets kind of angry when she's on trial in the first game, but this is... This is like... Uh, I, I shouldn't say too much about it. I don't want to give it away, but... Yeah, well, we get what you mean. But, uh... In SMT, it's a little weirder, because, like, everybody has alignments. And if you have oppositely aligned... Like, if the enemy is oppositely aligned with something in your party, they won't... Like, they will talk to you, but then they will leave the battle, or either get, uh, start attacking you, because they just don't get along. Mm-hmm. But once you recruit them, they're fine with it, which is the silly part. <laughs> I remember in uh, in The Elder Scrolls 3, Morrowind, you can... There are guilds that oppose each other, but if you you can join them both as long as you're not, like, at in a high rank in one guild when you join the other. And then there's Skyrim, in which it doesn't matter. Hmm. Because, yeah, in Skyrim, the only, the only sides you have to pick, obviously, are on the Civil War. You can only do one. Well, you say it's obvious, but I've never played the game, so... Yeah, well, it's a Civil War. You kind of can't pick both sides. Right. I disagree. Anyway, that is the last of the Zodiac Treasures. That's a duck. Hooray! That's a duck. Now you just have to find the last tassel thing. Yes. And the other beads. And the There's sun fragment. Like four beads right now, aren't you? Something like that, yeah. I've actually gotten a bunch of the difficult ones. Like I did all the spider gate ones. The only one I found hard was, aside from beating Kai, was getting the one from the, the Grande thing. Yeah, I did that. After many, many attempts. Oh yeah, so many, so many attempts. I actually was going to get my dad to help me, but I managed to do it before he got there. You know, I was gonna, I was gonna memorize the first four and have him memorize the last four and cheat in that way. Well, see, the thing I ran into is. It's much more sensitive to where you place your dots in that one. And oh. I was putting them like 100% exactly where the game wanted me to put them. You mean it's more lenient on the ones before? It's slightly more lenient on the other ones. Hmm. Yeah, that also makes a difference. Because like, to me it would look like they're all in the same spot, but the game obviously didn't think so. Well, I just realized that they were on a 4x4 grid. So I just thought, okay, th those are the locations on this 4x4 grid. Yeah. Well, that's 
So there are the last tassels. And now the treasure tome is complete. Or at least I has had all of the treasures. Yeah. Before selling. Until you sold them all. But hey, I do need to raise a lot of money, so. All of the money! <laughs> all of the money would be like. 99 million plus yen. Because I have the biggest purse you can have. Well, it gets slightly ridiculous when you're like several levels deep in a new game plus because the only things you have to spend money on are the handful of skills that don't carry over between saves. Because mm. some of them do, some of them don't. I think I've mentioned this before. Maybe. 